It's crazy to think about how long I've been living under the sea now. However, the big day 100 is quickly approaching, and with lots of preparation ahead of me, I also want to make some time for my home reef. To improve it, and to make it truly feel like home. So for the next 10 days, I will try my best to build my reef into something beautiful, even if my time is limited. I was gonna start off my day with a nap as usual, but I completely forgot I moved homes, whoops. Ah, this is a much better place to sleep. I feel like royalty. Well, I've got to organize before I can begin any activities. I do wonder though, what will I do with my shell house now that I moved out? Someone suggested to make it into a sort of shed or a little workshop, which I guess is what it is now anyway. I got this extra brewing stand from the town I visited, and I'll place it here. Anyway, now that my inventory is cleared, I can get on with today's work. I'm gonna start off by sprucing up my new bedroom. It's still pretty empty, and definitely needs some decor. Alright, let's go get some materials. Of course, I'm out of clay again, but I found a small deposit nearby luckily. I guess I make way too much furniture if I'm always running out of clay. Now we can get this decor party started. Okay, this bed is perfect. Let's put down some of these tiny pieces. I think I need to expand the floor space a bit too. A desk is a must-have. And some books to read. And a beautiful bookshelf for all the- oh, hey pancake! Aw, oh, boo, this chandelier can't even be lit. I guess a lantern will do. We all know that sea pickles are the best light source anyway. I also made some more bookshelves. I love reading, it's such a fun way to learn. So I obviously need to have plenty of books in my room. Let me know what your favorite genre of books are. Oh my god, I love this chair. Okay, this is weirdly awesome. I'm actually impressed that this works. This is exactly where I'll sit while I read my soggy books. All right, that's done. The next build I wanted to make was a library. How fitting of us to talk about books just now. Okay, I think I'll build it in this tower. I'm actually gonna keep the sand here. And I'll begin lining the walls with bookshelves. Well, I'll be needing plenty more, so let's go get some wood. Looks like going at night is not the best idea, but I really don't have time to waste, so I'll be using up my nights too. Always replant your trees, everyone. Better run. Yeah. Looks like my cat slippers are pretty useful. Alright, I'm done for now. Let's go make those bookshelves. That's actually a lot more than I expected. Well, let's see how much of the wall I can cover with them. I'm gonna leave the windows uncovered so we can get a bit of natural light in here. I'm already out of bookshelves, and paper to make more, so I'll need to start actively harvesting this sugarcane. I guess I should kill some cows for leather too. Always gotta make sure to breed them before the extermination. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Don't escape. Come on. I'm down here. There you go. 
that was a close call. Anyway, where was I? Bye, sea cows. Alright, let's see how many bookshelves that harvest will make. 14. Decent. Definitely not enough, though. Hey, this is pretty nice so far. Next, some decor. This is a purely decorational library since I already have an enchanting room, so I might as well make it look nice. I can use a few bookshelves from the mod to fill up empty space. Here's a cute little sitting area. I love this purple furniture set. Let's add some cozy lighting. I'll replace those bookshelves I broke over here. And I'll finish this off for now with these lanterns above the windowsills. I love it so far! Love Star's Soggy Library. The next project on my list is something a viewer recommended, which is to build a sacred garden. I love Minecraft gardens, so I'll gladly take on this challenge. Even though I can't place any flowers or plants besides coral underwater, I'll try my best to get creative. Well, I'll need some moss and leaves, but it's nighttime. Hmm, well, let me see what I already have. Okay, you know what? While I wait for it to turn day, I'm gonna run to the nether, because I also need warped wood and glowstone for my idea. Back off, buddy! Disgusting nether creatures. Well, it's a good thing I spawn right next to both warped and crimson forests. Oh my, there's so many mushroom gals! Heh, <laughs> just gonna walk over this lava, like a boss. Ooh, wait, I need another course to feed my little magma pet. Tiny mushies! Okay, this movement is insane. A bit OP? Definitely. Anyway, here's some glowstone. was fun. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <gasps> You're so cute! Oh my god! Oh, look at you! Dude! She looks like a, like a cheese ball. I think I'm gonna name her cheese ball. <laughs> This was my first time ever finding this Mushroom Gal variant. Let's go, cheese ball. Hold on. Oh, I know what this is! I could find some really good stuff in here. Oh, hell yes! Two netherite ingots and a diamond for the win! Oh, hello? Okay, you're not much of a threat, are you? Oh, and I got a wolf pet! Awesome! <gasps> okay, I guess he was a threat after all. I think it's about time I got out of here. Now that I figured out I'm basically immune to the nether, I want to explore a little bit. There are seriously so many gals here! I'm actually surprised! Maybe I should try to find the rare crimson variant. Hmm... I've never found one before, but I believe they're pink in color. I'm going to actually spend this extra nine minutes trying to find a crimson girl, the rare one. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh my gosh! I'm so happy! Where's my nut? Where's my thing? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Wait, I need to come back to you- I need to come back for her because I don't have the freaking bed. Okay, wait, let's see. Maybe she can teleport. Oh, yes! Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, I got so lucky! <gasps> You're so pretty! Oh my gosh! Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Come through the portal. I think she went- okay. No, 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 wait. Go in there. Go in there. Yes. Okay, we might drown here. Oh no. Go, go, go! Oh! Yes! Okay, wait. We have to take her. 
into the thing before she drowns. I didn't think this through. Teleport, 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 teleport. Oh, oh, that was scary. Oh my gosh, she could have drowned. Oh, I did not think that through. Oh my god, you're so cute. I'm gonna die. She is so adorable. Oh my gosh. And the little cheese ball. Oh my gosh. You're so adorable. I am so happy, as you can tell. But please leave a name suggestion for the pink crimson girl. Bonus points if it's a name related to cake, like the other girls. I will be keeping the cheese ball name though. It's just too perfect. <laughs> so cute. My collection of nether girls is actually almost complete. Let me bring aqua cake here so they can all meet. Oh shoot, how did that happen? Okay, but you know what? I want to complete the collection. Let me go back and try to find the rest of the nether variants. Yes, it's worth an entire water breathing potion. The irony of them being called water breathing potions is not lost on me. Target acquired. Yay! Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, let's bring her home. Yes! Perfect! My collection grows. I think I'm still missing like two nether variants, but this is probably enough taming for today. Do leave name suggestions for all of the new girls though, I'd love to hear your ideas. Ooh, Woofless! Interesting. Well, now I have a sea wolf. Well, that was a very big distraction. Oh, speaking of which, I'm gonna reroll my trident again. I still want something better than this. Nope. Nope. Well, that's all I can do for now. Maybe next time will be better. I also wanted to upgrade my pickaxe to netherite since I got some more ingots now. There we go! Awesome! That's the end of my side quest for now. I gotta go get some sea lanterns from the monument. I'll be needing some for the garden. Well, time to beat up some guardians. Wow, it's so peaceful up here. How many misses was that? Jeez! A rare fish for my aquarium. All right, time to go back home. Ooh, pretty. Hey, what the? Oh God, pirates! Get out of here, you scoundrel thieves! Ah, <sighs> anyway. Now I can make some lanterns. Looks like I got some loot from those pirates, including this adorable bunny hat! Oh my god, this is so cute! I'm totally keeping this on. Okay, I'm ready to start now. I'll need to grab materials on the surface when it turns day, but right now I can work on the pathway. So I want to make an entrance from this tower that will lead to the sacred garden. Hmm, I'm actually gonna change this. I'll make the entrance here instead. It'll be a more straightforward path to the garden from here. Now of course, I gotta add some leaves. There we go. Now for the path. It'll be a bit tricky to make around all this coral, but that won't stop me. I'm trying to break as little coral as possible here. Look at this little crawling critter. He deserves a new home. Anyway, back to the path. Oh shoot, the sun is rising already. I'll have to grab the moss and leaves now before I forget. Moss collecting is such a chore, but I really need a lot for this project, so I'll be breaking blocks until nightfall.
Oh man, I'm done. Just get me back to the ocean already. Much better. Whoa, check out that octopus. Can I bucket it? Oh god, why did I even try that? Why? Okay, where was I? Let me keep working on this path now. Now I can add the prismarine. A path wouldn't be finished without some leaves. Phew, I need a break. Hmm, I never really interact with these mermorphs. Let's see what I can trade. Oh, good thing I have some fish on me. Well, let's see what I'll get. Hmm, nothing special, but still fun. I might as well place a glow lick in. Well, I'll be needing some more sea pickles for my pathway. Ugh, I wish I had an infinite supply of these pickles. But then I'd maybe go a little overboard. Well, now that the path is done, it's time to make use of the moss I collected. Yes, I'll be replacing the entire gravel floor near the garden with moss. I really hate the gravel. It looks so dead and sad. I have a long way to go, but I know it'll be a big improvement. freaking dolphins. I'm sick of you. I don't typically show this in my videos, but these stupid dolphins constantly give me the dolphin's grace effect when I'm swimming from place to place, and it makes me go so fast, it's incredibly disorienting, and always causing me to slip around like a f***ing banana peel and miss the door like 15 times before I can slowly crawl inside. It's ridiculous. <sighs> Look at that dolphin. Despicable. Well, that's all the moss I had. Luckily, I can bow meal it to add some seagrass, which just really completes the whole look. You know, I might as well cover up some of the gravel with seagrass. At least then you won't see the sad gravel color as much. Yeah, this looks way better. A little green valley. Now, I'm not done with the garden just yet. I wanted to make some custom trees because, well, I can't place any flowers down here. But it must have some nature, so let's build some trees. I've built a handful of custom trees before, but I often try to avoid them because I find them so tedious. I stripped the warped wood, but I wonder if I should have left it unstripped. Hmm, what do you think? Honestly, if I had the time and patience, I would build one of those giant mega trees. Like the Metcayena spirit tree from Avatar or something. That would be perfect here. I guess this tiny tree will do for now. Anyway, I wanted to add some hanging lanterns to add a bit of magic to this tree. The glow is so pretty. Can you tell I like sea pickles? I'll add some glow lichen to really make this tree look special. I was curious on whether the wind chime would work underwater, and it does! I'm also gonna add a few sea lanterns. And lastly, I'll build a few more tinier trees on the mossy hill. Come on! Just as I wanted to take a look, I get blinded by a jellyfish. Well, I'll make a few more trees just to fill up the space a bit more. Cute! Oh yeah, I hit level 30 again, and check this out!
I've rerolled my trident enchant so many times, but finally, this is what I've been waiting for. Let's give this deadly weapon a test. More pirates, huh? Well, they're no match for my trident. Alright, I'm gonna take a break from my sacred garden. I might make some additions during 100 days, but now I need to get some leaves for my next build. And that's enough. So, my next build is gonna be another path. I want to connect my farm tower to the pineapple, so I'll start by getting rid of all the coral in the way. I think it's important for me to connect my builds with pathways, not only because the paths look really beautiful, but it makes the reef feel more complete. You know what? I'm gonna add some leaves around the entrance of the farm too. That's so nice. Okay, I'll get back to this path later. So I really need to clean this place up. All this exposed stone is such an eyesore, but I might keep the ruins here. They're pretty cool. So I'll have to even out this terrain a bit and cover it all up with sand. Looking good so far, but I still got a while to go. Oh my gosh, do you remember this? My first shelter. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping the ruins around. Well, I'm out of sand. I'll make more progress later. Ooh, wait! This little turn here could be a good place for a path. I think I'll start it here. Now I just gotta outline this turn. Damn it, stupid fish. Okay, here's the basic structure done. I love this one. It honestly might be my favorite path. It's just so cozy and perfectly nestled between the shell house and the coral. Well, my two new paths are still missing the sea pickles, and I'll have to grow some more because I'm constantly running out of them. Perhaps my pickle obsession is going too far. I should probably make a macro for duplicating sea pickles because this process of break, grow, break, place, grow, break is surprisingly mechanically difficult. Anyway, let's place these beauties down. Let's also finish the leaves on this path. I just completely forgot about that. Yay! Done! Wow, I seriously am in love with this. Now my builds definitely feel more connected. Next, I want to make some more jellyfishes. But I'm out of glass. Well, time to get some more sand. That took forever. It must be nice to jump into the water after a long day of collecting sand in the desert. Huh, I should probably get some more furnaces here. I'll actually just grab the ones from my shell and move them to my new kitchen. 
Well, at least I get to fill up a bit of the empty space around here. Alright, my sand's good to go. I'll also be needing some pink dye for my jellies. Luckily, I can get plenty with my flowers in here. Oh, just look, everyone's here. My family! Oh, this hole definitely has to go. I'm still on ocean cleanup duty after all. That's better. I might as well cover up some of this depressing gravel too. Pink glass acquired. Time to make some more jellies. They're such a fun way to light up the ocean. Now, where was I? This was a nice addition. I think I should add some on this side of the reef too. They'll add some nice lighting to my secret garden. Perfect. Now, I think it's about time I return to my castle project. I'm still not done decorating it. This room needs some work. Hmm. A few viewers did mention a treasure room. I don't really have much, but I would love to make a cool place for my treasures. I'm just adding a few details before I start that though. Alright, well, I'll put some paintings in here since art is priceless. And of course, I'll be including leaves in here. These paintings are so beautiful. I'm gonna cover up this cobblestone with some leaves. Let me go find some more stuff I can put in here. I'll have to get creative. These pots, definitely treasure. And my precious sea pickles! Their glowing tips are like shiny coins. Speaking of glowing, shiny glow looking will be perfect here. These soul lanterns don't give off much glow, which is disappointing. But they're still pretty. I'll still play some regular lanterns for some lighting. Ugh, I really need to get some more materials for bookshelves because I'd love to add some to my treasure room. I'll start by getting some leather. And now some sugarcane, which, uh, I think I'll need to make a proper farm for this soon. Yeah, I'm already running out and this isn't gonna cut it. Well, let's see how much I can make with this. Oh dear, just three for now. Hmm, I should do something with my little Dumbo octopus. I want to name him King Tangerine, which is a combination of two name suggestions. Should I just let him live here? I need a place to trap him so he doesn't float off into the ocean. Let's see here. Oh, these two golden doors. This will be perfect. Well, unfortunately, I'll have to close off this room, but honestly, it's a treasure room. It should be closed off. I'll decorate the door a bit with some leaves and sea pickles, just so it's a bit more fancy. Okay, I honestly love this. Plus, the gold doors are fancy in itself. There, now you're safe. I'm still gonna add some more treasure. These candles for my shell house and some more pretty paintings. Alright, now it's time to make some more fantasy furniture. Let's see what sort of trinkets I can find. Surprisingly, I found a lot of hidden gems. Like, I never even noticed some of these things, so let's go place them. Look at these candles! Now some pots and bottles. 
I love these crystals. A creepy vase. A golden mirror. Golden chalices and golden coins are just too perfect for a treasure room. Cute little mushrooms! Precious potions. And some mirrors and paintings. I went and crafted a few more things to add to the treasure room. I'm honestly impressed with how much I was able to fit in here. Alright, that's done. Now about that sugarcane problem. I really need to make a proper farm, so I think here, this could be a good spot. The place I grew my first tree. Let's do it. Let's transform this old hole in the wall into something better. I'm gonna start by making some rows for the sugarcane to grow on. I'm also gonna replace this stone with glass so we have a clear view of the ocean from inside and can check on the sugarcane from the outside. I'm gonna have to do a bit of terraforming for this part. Hey, what the hell, man? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh wow, he dropped the tridents! Well, I won't be needing this. Back to the sugarcane farm. I honestly love making farms, especially underwater. It's like a whole different type of challenge. I'm gonna add a prismarine battlement on top of the glass walls. I really hope I can finish this before I'm out of time. I'll try my best. Oh god, Dolphin, please. Well, I guess he's stuck here now. Oh great, I'm out of sea lantern materials and it's already day 90. Well, I'll have to go visit the sea monument. Let me just plant some sugarcane first so we can start growing while I build. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go on a guardian killing spree. I guess I'll steal these too while I'm at it. My work here is done. Alright, now I can add those lanterns. All that work for two freaking lanterns. Oh my god, this crab hat is amazing! Okay, this is seriously the best one yet. I am keeping this. Anyway, I still have some details left to add to the sugarcane farm. You already know it, I'm making another path. This is a perfect spot to connect to, and it'll add some extra beauty to the simplistic farm area. Ooh, I love the shape of this. Now for the leaves. And the sea pickles. Yay! There was also a few details I wanted to add to my battlement. I love these spikes. Sea pickles will be the finishing touch. Oh, 
Oh yes, this is awesome. Let me go grab some leaves so I can finish the path design. Okay, done. The sun is setting, so I gotta be quick. Let's add some sea pickles and sea grass. Okay, too much sea grass. And of course, can't forget about the leaves. Well, my work here is done, for now. We have just 10 more days until I battle the ghost of Captain Cornelia, which can either empower me or be the end of me. We'll see what goes down. Well, anyway, I really enjoyed these past 10 days. I actually got to build so many things. The treasure room was so fun. The cozy, soggy library. Pointless, but so worth it. The beautiful sacred garden. The pathways and sugarcane farm. This lovely path to the farm and a new leafy entrance. I'd love to know what your favorite build was. Mine was probably the treasure room. Oh, and don't forget to leave some cake themed names for our new mushroom gals. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for the final episode and the movie. Bye! Thank you to all of my YouTube members for supporting my content and especially to Katiana, Nowhere, Clara, Luna, Dorby, Mia, Cheyenne, Eros, Milo, Dee Dee Whisker, Sunny, Pomsky, Rinka, Poppy, Cattlepig, and Dianella for becoming star members.